Hey everyone, Corey Reviews here to do an unboxing and review of Free Fire on Blu-ray. But before I get to the review, here's my unboxing. Alright everyone, here's the unboxing for Free Fire. So this is a Blu-ray and digital HD combo pack. Get a shot of the main cast members there. And spine. And back here. Get some quotes, more shots from the film, special features, you get an audio commentary and the making of, and then technical specs here, it is region A locked. Alright, and the side by side here, with the shrink wrap taken off, looks like it's just going to be the same all the way around. Inside, you get your digital copy code and one disc. That is the recycle case in the inside. No disc art in this one. So, there you are. That is everything that comes with Free Fire on Blu ray. And first off, I mean, I gotta list off some of the cast members here. You have Charlotte Copley, Army Hammer. Brie Larson, Cillian, Killian Murphy, I'm not never sure, I, for some reason I feel like it's like Killian Murphy, or, and Jack Rayner as well, who is fantastic in Sing Street, anytime I can plug Sing Street, definitely check out Sing Street if you haven't, it. it's on Netflix, it is awesome, and as well, it is produced by Martin Scorsese, and directed by Ben Wheatley, without giving too much of the plot away, it's pretty simple, but there's, you know, some nice little surprises here and there, uh, so Justine, played by Brie Larson, sets up an arms deal. Um, there's two opposing sides here. You kind of have the, the entourage that's going in to buy the weapons and the entourage that's going in to sell. And while the transaction is happening, all hell breaks loose and shots are fired. And it's just complete mayhem from there on out. So I remember when the trailers were coming out for this. This was definitely one of my most anticipated films of the year. I mean, just that cast alone being produced by Martin Scorsese. I always love when fun original movies come out. I try to support them when I can. And this is definitely a lot of fun, and it is very original. And one of the best things I can say about this film, it is unpredictable throughout. From the opening scene to the very ending scene, you have no idea what's going to happen. And that's such a refreshing thing to go into a movie. And literally for the entire 90-minute runtime, not know what's going to happen, who's going to die, who's going to live what's going on um, overall this was just a great movie just a great shoot 'em up movie if you love shoot 'em up movies this is definitely for you uh, the performances all around the board are fantastic uh, Charles Copley is definitely the standout in the film I thought Brie Larson did an excellent job Jack Rayner as well Army Hammer a lot of people I know give Army Hammer crap still for you know Lone Ranger and all that but again the guy did social network he was so good in that and he is excellent in this film super charming and likable uh, I really enjoyed his character. I know originally he was supposed to be Batman many years ago, and he showed in this film, I was like, man, he actually would have been a really good Bruce Wayne in Batman. And you got Brie Larson as well, and even, she's not in the film a whole hell of a lot, but when she is, she definitely shows off even more for acting chops and kind of her badass action chops as well. She's going to be Captain Marvel coming up here pretty soon, so it's kind of a nice little bit of a tease for that. And one of the things as well is that this is produced by Martin Scorsese and it feels like a Mar it felt like a Martin Scorsese film mixed with like an Edgar Wright film. It felt kind of like the both of those have combined. There's even a scene in Baby Driver. If you've seen Baby Driver, there's kind of an arm seal scene in that film as well. That felt like a shortened, condensed version of this movie. And also another great thing about this film, it balances tone very well. It goes from being very funny to being very dark and serious, being back to funny, um, and then being just like a crazy, bloody, shoot 'em up movie. Um, it, it balances all that very, very well. And you kind of get in the mindset of all these different characters. So overall, there wasn't really much I can say I disliked about this film. It was just all around a really great movie. Um, I mean, you kind of know, if you've seen the trailer, you know exactly what to, to expect, and it really delivers on all of that, plus some. 
There are a lot of surprises. There's a lot of things I definitely did not expect. And also the violence is very, very realistic. There's not a lot of movies that come out nowadays that have super realistic violence, but this movie definitely had very realistic movie violence. Um, a lot of the humor came from, I, I love the fact that all these people, they're inexperienced. They're, they're kind of amateur at shooting weapons and aiming and all this stuff. A lot of the humor comes from the fact that they're like firing at each other at very close range and they're missing. Um, and they're always like disappointed in themselves when they miss and it's it makes for a lot of fun it makes for just really great entertaining action this is definitely one that's worth checking out it's just a fun original film and these are definitely films that we need to support a little bit more overall the picture quality also on this film looked really good it had the right amount of clarity and grain especially for the time frame that this film took place uh, the, the audio is also really great it has a, a really good soundtrack very Martin Scorsese like you hear bullets all constantly flying around and ricocheting and you don't know where it's coming from or where it's gonna land if this seems like something for you I would definitely recommend checking it out definitely recommend picking it up at least renting it it will be pretty cheap on release day it does release tomorrow July 18th on blu-ray and digital HD and DVD if you've seen it, let me know your thoughts down below. So yeah guys, thank you all for checking out this video, and until next time, Corey from Corey Reviews, I'll catch y'all later.